And the guy that restarted this race, leading it, not leading it, but leading the pack, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's ten and a half seconds out there in front of Tony Stewart leading this race, but he's where Jeff Gordon was all day long, clean air. He's out there giving that field the goodbye look. But he, he and Elliot to Sadler. See a caution. All these guys would love to see a caution. He and Elliot Sadler, Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, they would all benefit from a caution right now. We're under green at Darlington. In the back straightaway, coming off turn number two. A ferocious, a ferocious crash in the back straightaway off turn number two. Tony Stewart, the leader around. Mark Martin's in it. Ward Burton's in it. One car got completely sideways and the track was blocked. Look at the damage to Schrader's car. He is climbing out. His teammate Johnny Benson is involved. Kurt Busch. You see his damaged car. And the leader, Stewart, caught up in it. Mark Martin in uh 24 cars got damage on the right side. I don't know how bad it is. I don't think it's real bad, but he scraped along the side of Tony Stewart. Dave Blaney and Ward Burton are the other cars involved. Jeff Gordon, I believe he got a little right side damage yeah. as he drove through he did. there. He got into the back side of Stewart's, but it didn't look that bad. But he did get through. I don't think he hurt his cars cosmetically. That's about it. I think he can fix it. I think Tony must be hurt, uh, and I feel so sorry for Kenny Schrader. I hope Tony's all right. Stewart's car got sideways, Daryl, and I believe he got hit hard in the left side. Yeah, there. Uh, when one car gets sideways here, this track gets so narrow. There's nowhere for anyone to go. Damage to Buckshot Jones. I think he actually was involved in something that started all of this off turn two. Yeah, old Bush has gone to the garage now, by the way. And all those cars that were on the tail end of the lead lap do get the free pass around. Well, the 24 and the behind 40, the pace uh, car. little damage on the right front of the 24, but not very much. Of the lead lap cars, about the only two cars that was not involved is the 24 and the 40, and we're hearing that Jeff Gordon may have a little bit of damage. Yeah, he's got a little bit, but not very much. He's okay. Dick Bergman. He definitely has got some damage. They've been talking on the radio about it. The most important thing they want to do is to clear the fender so that there's no chance of that fender hitting the tire. Right now, they're beating on the right front corner, trying to get that fender out. They want to make sure that there's no contact with the tire. There is now, however, a hole in that fender area that's not going to help him at higher speed. Right side tires are on. They're going to change the left side tires. Tough break for Jeff Gordon back there in the traffic, and he just got into it. The race off pit road is won by Marlin, then Earnhardt Jr., Sadler, and Harvick. Being a lap down wasn't so bad, was it? Not for those fellows, but a melee in the back stretch. Again, Dave Blaney involved, Tony Stewart, Jimmy Spencer, Kenny Schrader, Kurt Busch, and I believe Ward Burton. Let's see what happened coming off turn two. It's Tony all by himself. Going low. Oh, low. Buckshot got in. Buckshot got in trouble. He was sideways off turn two, got loose, and Tony Stewart just came up on him so fast, nowhere to go. There's there where Jeff Gordon. Gordon got the damage. Sterling Marlin gets through, and Bill Elliott gets through. Oh, and there's the oh, goodness. Spencer, Spencer just pile drove Stewart's car. There you see Ward Burton get caught up in it, and a host of cars on the outside. Another view, you just see Buckshot Jones in the 44. There was sideways. so much smoke that uh, Spencer and those guys just could not see. There's so, all the smoke out there. So watch these guys are coming here and they can't see. They're coming out of the smoke. It's like coming out of a bank of fog. Wow, what a hit. Oh, my goodness. And at that speed, Daryl, from 300 feet away, what can you do? Well, there's nothing. You're at the, just the mercy of the track, either opening up and you slip watch through. Watch in front of you there. Watch in front of you there. Come on, come on, come on. Back to the caution. Go back to the caution. Come on. 44 is the leader. Watch the 9 outside. Tony Stewart, it's reported, is out of his car. Well, the good news is all that impact was on the right side. 
yes. uh, that wasn't in the driver's side. You can see there on the right side. I'm sure he's shaken up quite a lot. They're stabilizing him there with uh, stuff around his neck. And our folks report that Tony Stewart was moving when they put him on the stretcher. And uh, we're hoping this is precautionary. And it, it's, it's pretty standard any time a driver has to be helped from his car, get him stabilized, get him on that stretcher into the infield care center. Turn two is a tough turnover, boys. I, you just, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times today we've said they're going, they're, they're, we've seen wrecks over there that didn't happen, but they should have happened. So here's Gordon back in. You, you saw and heard just that little thump as Jeff Gordon swerved to avoid Tony Stewart and just barely caught him with the right front of his car. Jimmy Spencer's car towed to the garage area, both ends a mess. I mean, of the seven cars, six or seven cars that was running behind Tony Stewart that was on the lead lap, the only car that received no damage of that group was Sterling Marlin, the 40 car. And you rode with him as he drove through that, and it was only close. by luck of the Irish, you were in a complete tire smoke fog. Well, and think about this. Back to Charlotte last year when Gordon got bumped in the right front leaving the pit lane and messed up his right front fender, Larry, and he was I, and later, I, no time at all, he got lapped. So that's a very critical corner of the car here, and they get it. Got to get it fixed right. There are the 11 cars that received some or more damage in that crash. Johnny Benson sitting in, hoping they can make repairs and get him back out. Mark Martin's car got a lot of damage as Tony Stewart goes into the ambulance for the trip to the care center. 